Today we're going to learn about date methods inside JavaScript. And when it comes to date methods, we can use it in order to write a specific date or specific time inside the browser. So we're going to continue this off the previous episode where we talked about a date constructor, which is basically when we create an object that has information inside of it, such as properties or functions, that we can use in order to do specific things with the date. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to write a customized date inside your website. And we're also going to talk about how to set a custom date inside your website. So as you guys can see inside my code here, I have two paragraphs. One has an ideas test A and one has an ideas test B. So inside test A, we're going to go ahead and show the date inside the browser, you know, a customized date. And inside test B, we're going to go ahead and set a customized date. So inside my script tags, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new constructor. So we actually have an object we can use in order to customize the date we want to set inside the browser. So I'm going to say we have a variable called get date. Now, of course, you guys can call this whatever you want. It just makes sense to me to call it get date. I'm going to set it equal to a new date parentheses, which means that we now are creating a new date object based off this new date constructor we have here. So now that we have this, we can actually go ahead and customize the date we want inside the browser using the date methods we have inside our date object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go down to the next line. And we're going to say, OK, we want to go into the document and want to get an element by ID. And we want to get the one called test A. Now inside test A, we want to insert some text. So we're going to say inner HTML and set it equal to whatever we want to insert. So because we want to insert a specific date that we can customize because we now have this date object up here, we can actually go ahead and just write something customized. So we can actually say we have a string called the date is space. Then afterwards, we want to add some JavaScript code. And remember, each time we switch from string to JavaScript, we need to add a plus symbol. Now, after the plus symbol, we're going to go ahead and say we have a variable called get date, which we created up here, which is actually a object created from this constructor here that has information inside of it, such as properties and methods. So these methods we have inside the date object is what we're going to play with uh, right now. So right after the get date variable, we're going to go ahead and say, OK, we have this get date object. We want to go into the object by writing a punctuation and we want to get the method called get date parentheses because it's a method which is basically a function inside an object. So if you guys are confused about functions versus methods, a method is technically a function that's inside an object, such as the one we just created up here because we have, you know, an object with properties and methods inside of it or functions inside of it. So we're basically referring to a function inside this object here called get date. Now, what this one does is it goes ahead and writes the date or at least the day of the month that we have right now inside the browser. So if I were to go ahead and close off the code here and just go ahead and refresh the browser, you guys can see we get the date is four, which is right now as I'm making this tutorial, the 4th of January, meaning that we get the right date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say, well, after the get date method here, I'm going to go ahead and switch to another string. So I'm going to say plus because we're switching from JavaScript code to string, double quotes, forward slash, followed after the string by another piece of JavaScript code. So we can actually go ahead and just copy what we have up here called get date dot get date. Now, don't get confused by these two names being the same. This is the name of the variable we created, and this is the name of the method that exists inside the JavaScript language. So don't, don't get these two confused by each other. So we're going to go ahead and change get date to get month. And then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and say plus double quotes, because now we get the day and the month. We want to get the year now, so we're going to just add a space. Then we're switching to JavaScript code again. We're just going to copy what we had over here, paste it in, and change the last one to get full year. So now we basically just did is we went ahead and say, well, the date is the fourth forward slash of the month, which right now is the first because it's January, space, and then the full year. So if we go inside the browser, refresh, you guys can see we now get this date in here. 
So this is how we can customize the dates. And we do actually have quite a few different ones of these methods here. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you guys can actually go in and find a list of these methods. Um, but the next thing we want to talk about is how to actually set a specific date. Let's say I want to say, well, inside the browser, let's actually go ahead and say we want to go a month or maybe a year ahead of time or back in time, we can actually go ahead and set the current date. So we can say, well, right now, if you were to go in and see the date, it's gonna tell us that, at least in my case, it's the 4th of January, 2017. I can go in and say, well, let's change the year to 2020. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go down a couple of lines. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy the constructor we have up here, create a new one. I'm gonna call set date. After creating this construct, and by the way, you don't actually have to uh, create a new construct. I'm just doing it so we have a different name variable because it just makes sense for this exercise here. You could essentially just use this one up here inside the next part we're doing here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new construct because why not? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna go ahead and write the same thing as in the previous part, documents dot get elements by ID parentheses. And then we want to get test B dot inner HTML is equal to something. Now in this case, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just say we want to set it equal to set date that we have up here. Now, just to show you guys, if we were to do this, go inside the browser, refresh, you guys can see we now get the second part, uh, which is actually the, as I told you guys right now, it's January the 4th, 2017, at least where I am, and it's 6 p.m. So right now we're getting the current time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and set a new time by changing maybe perhaps the year. So I'm gonna say instead of 2017, let's actually change it to 2020. So before we start, echoing out or at least outputting the text inside the browser before that, I'm gonna go ahead and change the date. So what I'm gonna do in the next line here in between the variable and the document get element by ID is I'm gonna go ahead and write set date, which is the name of the variable we have up here, dot, and then I'm gonna go ahead and create a method that also exists inside the JavaScript language called set full year, parentheses, semicolon, and inside the parentheses, I can actually go ahead and set a new date. So I'm gonna go ahead and say 2020, because why not? We could do whatever we want here. And now what we did is we actually changed the year to be a fixed year called 2020. So if I go inside the browser, you guys will notice that instead of 2017, we get 2020. Now again, we have quite a few uh, of these functions here called set something. We could, for example, go in and say, instead of set for a year, I could set the seconds. So if I were to say set seconds to five. So right now we will always be in uh, the fifth second of each minute. So if I were to go in, refresh, you guys can see that right now we have five seconds as our counter. If I refresh, you guys will notice it keeps staying at the same second. So this is how we can do date methods inside JavaScript. And this is something that's quite useful if you want to write specific dates or maybe you want to set a specific time, maybe in the past or you know in the future, doesn't really matter. There could be some kind of purpose for it. And I hope this is something you guys find useful. Now in the next episode, we're gonna start talking about something called arrays inside JavaScript, which is something we use quite often when we want to manipulate data inside JavaScript. So if you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys next time.